Senator Bita. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, today we, uh, we heard some robust debate on a number of important issues before this body, but before we all um, would leave for the day, uh, I wanted to rise and take an opportunity to recognize Veterans Day and offer my sincerest gratitude to the men and women who have fought to protect this country and the freedoms we cherish. It's ironic we wouldn't be here today uh, in this chamber representing the people's desires and wishes before our colleagues if it weren't for the many sacrifices for those in our armed forces. With the United States still involved in two wars, it is important to remember that veterans are returning home every day. I hope that our country may soon find itself at peace so that our soldiers serving overseas may come home to rejoin their families. As these service members return home, we must give them a warm welcome that they deserve. And part of that warm welcome should be a return home to find a job waiting for them. I would ask that this chamber work to move legislation forward that would encourage businesses to hire veterans who are in search of work. I hope that my colleagues and everybody in this chamber will take a moment tomorrow to remember the sacrifices that have been made to protect our democracy and to allow this body to meet as it does today. Make tomorrow a day of reflection and gratefulness to honor our armed forces and the citizens who make their ranks. I'd like to also commend and recognize a number of my colleagues who've served in the armed forces as well as staff members that are present that have served. Um, one of them is uh, Jerry Gill who works in my office. Uh, it wasn't World War I he served in by, by any means, but I know he had some considerable military service and we're very proud of him. Thank you. Uh, and I, I request that my remarks be printed in the journal. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Senator.